All right, and I'm back again. I'm Brianna Timms, Patriot Times Live, and shortly we're about to have a fire drill. But I'm here with Mr. Patterson to talk about what the use of a fire drill is. Hey, Patterson, how are you today? Good. Good morning. Good. Thank you. Now, what's the point of having a fire drill? Yeah, so, um, you know, I think it's the obvious response would be that in case we have a fire, we would have plenty of practice on how to safely, quickly, orderly exit the building. Um, state law, so we have to have so many per year, I believe it's six per year. We time each one of them, try to get better on our uh, exit times, uh, as well as, I think, two tornado drills and two lockdown drills. And they're all required, right? Yeah. By the state? Mm -hmm. And how are, like, how do, they might have to get into all of them then. How, what do the students have to do, like, specifically, what is their, like, rules of getting out of here? Like, yeah, that's a good question. file, or like? Right, that's a great question. Yeah, so a couple of these we want to, to notify the staff. So I sent an email to all the staff so they were notified of the drill we're going to have in a few minutes at 9.30. Then we'll have one today at 2.30. And so they can prep the, the students that they're working with on single file lines, orderly and quietly exit the building, take the students a thousand feet away, which is about 300 steps, um, and then check your rosters to make sure all the students um, are with you. Get yep. out safely. Yep, and then we'll call. Um, the, uh, the classroom is back in the students. Now, also with like tornado drills and lockdowns, how do those kind of work? Those are a little more complicated. So the tornado drills, we try a few different things. Um, um, so the tornado drills basically we have designated areas for each um, classroom or, or work room with students. Um, and they line against the wall and cover their heads. Um, with lockdown drills, lockdown is basically, there's two different lockdowns. One's a, a lockdown where you lock the classroom down so there's no intruders. And we have these right. new... Um, little gadgets here you can see in the floor, these are called the boots, and there's a, uh, a gadget, if you will, that goes on the back of the door and locks so you can't get through the door. Um, and, and so then there's a reverse lockdown, which we have to exit the building as if, um, you know, maybe there was inside. Uh, somebody inside and we were able to exit, or, and it just depends on the situation, whether you call an internal or external um, lockdown. Oh. And then we call the, the um, uh, police right away. Oh, so. well, yeah, of course, you have to do that. Well, yeah, that's good to know. Um, and you said it was at 9.30 today? 9.30, yeah. so we got to get moving. Ah, all right. Well, then, there we are. Oh, this is a lot. Uh, well, that wraps it up for this one, too. Um, I'm Brandon Timms, Patriot Times Live, and thank you, Mr. Patterson. Thank you. All right, and we're back minutes before the fire drill. I just wanted to mention that every classroom has a fire drill and route procedure board on every wall. And what it does is it shows all the get like the exits and procedures of getting out safely and in time for potentially getting harmed. So that's that and there's a few more minutes and we'll be doing a fire drill and I'll stay tuned for that. Alright, we're just seconds from the alarm going off and shortly we'll be heading out. Study skills first! Study skills first. Line up, straight line, remain calm. Study skills first. Come on now. Ah, where would all be running? You took us this way, Bray. I didn't mean to. <laughs> All students are walking out in a, oh my God, an orderly fashion in a line um, to get out safely. And no one's rushing, everyone's just keeping very calm for a potential fire drill were to go off or a fire would actually be in the school.
<laughs> well, did you get that on camera or jumping? Mm-hmm. Take roll call to make sure every student got out of the building safely. And our drills normally take up to about maybe 10 minutes. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it for us. Not you got to see what the experience is for a fire drill. And I'm Brad Tumans with Haley, and that's about it for you today.